Well, good evening. It's Wednesday. We're the gun cranks and hey, we're all still here, right? Everything's good. Everything is fine. Remain calm. All is well. <laughs> breathe. Yes, breathe. Well, okay. I'm Guns Magazine editor that, Brent Wheat. That does not work for childbirth. I'm just saying, <laughs> you know. Exactly. People told that, that to my wife. And they, they just, you know, just breathe through the pain. Yeah. Breathe the right. pain out. And right she, before she, she grabbed about you by the throat. that that uh, young lady. So <laughs> exactly. Well, that that is the dulcet tones of Tom McHale, the editor of American Handgunner Magazine, and make rounding out our trio is the venerable Roy Huntington. Hello, gentlemen. Venerable. Venerable. <laughs> hey, I'm a wordsmith. Don't try this at home. Venerable is a big word. <laughs> yeah. Well, obviously, a lot of folks aren't feeling good about the world, and that's all we're going to say about that. But we decided a topic this week. We just got to have some fun. So let's have some freaking fun, right? Gun and fun. One letter apart, as I always say. So I came up with an idea, and uh, it was nearly voted down, but <laughs> we're going to go with it anyway. I decided to, uh, this actually started as myself cheering myself up. I went to the internet and looked at stupid people doing stupid things with firearms. And some of them are very laughable. So we have some highlights of some of that. And understand there will be a socially redeeming quality here, aside from making fun of stupid people. We're going to talk about maybe what they shouldn't have done in some of these instances. So you know, there will probably get a couple of emails. Well, those were dangerous things. Yes, yes. These are very dangerous things. Don't do them at home. You're stupid if you try some of these things. And can I make a stronger disclaimer than that? Or, <laughs> or maybe or maybe ignorant. They're in fairness. Yeah. And in, in, in ignorance, not a bad word. It just means you don't know. So that, that's where some of the socially redeeming uh, commentary is going to come in, I think. <laughs> okay. But I think maybe that if you don't know, then you shouldn't do it until so you do know. So that's stupid. <laughs> yeah. And so that's stupid. Yeah. The circular logic going so on is. here. Yeah. yeah. The Oda loop. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Are we ready okay. to try this? No, yes. but let's do it. Here we go. Yeah. No. Okay. Here's our first video. <laughs> Whoop, let me get our uh, line back up here. Okay. Are we ready? <laughs> this already doesn't How, look good. Let me stop it right there. What do you think is going to happen here? Any bets? <laughs> I think he's going to knock the bullseye out of that target. It's what I think. <laughs> well, plus he's got a gun in a $5 cheap holster. So we know, <laughs> we know who we're dealing with. And he's also holding a stupid gun. So okay. let's see where this goes. Maybe he's here shooting we... at drones. Yeah, that could be. That could be. Here we go. Oh, oh gosh. I'm surprised. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Nothing to see here. And here's yep. a quick oh. add on. Oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah. The mask is a good touch. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm, I'm looking up in the corner to see the hole in the ceiling. Can you guys see it? I, oh no, gosh. I think the gun that fell shot basically next to the the shot. Yeah. Or oh, the, the oh. camera. <laughs> I kind of ducked when it did. No <laughs> it was like, oh. <laughs> so any take <laughs> This this may be pretty basic. Any takeaways on this, folks? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. for the obvious though, first is. Why are you filming yourself doing something stupid and then post it? Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's your friend posting it, which probably yeah. is. Tom, yeah, what were you It's got to be. Yeah. So I want to, I have a takeaway. I want to go back to that. You don't have to show it again, but back to that first video, the, uh, the one. Oh, you got it. Okay. Yeah. The one handed shotgun. It, this inspires me <laughs> for us to get some new shirts made. You know how we've got the, uh, the American cop defund the media sh shirts right. on sale now? Through nine line apparel, check it out. Um, I think we need a new twist on that. And they're going to say recoil matters. <laughs> <laughs> I think this gentleman would agree with you. I think actually I, that could be kind of a good shirt. <laughs> I like the part though. Did you notice that after this happens, after the inevitable occurs, he turns around and he's like, yeah, I'm okay. All right. I'm, I'm okay. meant to do I'm that. Cool. Yeah. We're cool. It's good. Yeah. yeah but nothing could to not see here. I mean, yeah. Yeah. okay. So let's get serious for a minute here. There are, too many cases and this is the recoil matters thing where big handgun short shotgun like that comes back if there's a second round ready to go you could be looking at serious ugly. trouble yeah well it's a good thing it was a single shot shotgun huh right you know yeah, yeah. and it bring this brings up the point that brent said before we started this silliness and that is that and we're not going to show any, but there's nothing funny about handing a new shooter a Smith & Wesson 500 Magnum and saying, hold it out in front of your face and then pull the trigger. 
exactly. You know, because it, yeah, why? It's, sorry, it's not funny. You it's know? not funny. And oh. I, there were so many of those videos, especially like diminutive female, small lady, yeah. into her new shooter. No, here, hold the shotgun three or four inches away from your shoulder. Really? Is that funny? Did, yeah. you, did you make a shooter out of that person? No, you didn't. Yeah. Well, there's there's a there is a good tip in that, even for uh, you know intermediate, more experienced shooters. When you're when you're setting off a large handgun or rifle for the first time, load one round, you know, just yeah. one, and uh, make sure make sure you've got the right grip that you can control it properly and safely, you know. That's a we, it's a real deal with big revolvers, you know. Yeah. When uh, when we did the custom build classes here. Uh, with Bill Lockridge, when we test fired the guns on Friday at the end of the week, we would load one in the magazine, you know, shoot, then load two, mm -hmm. shoot, then load three, shoot, because you never know, you know, it's going to go full auto. It's, you know, yeah. these are inexperienced shooters. So cool. Let's, let's have a let's... redo of that guy with the death mask on. <laughs> okay. Well, first we got to get this guy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Do we even oh, need to comment on that? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and oh. we're guys, so nothing is funnier than seeing another guy self-inflicting <laughs> groin injury. Oh, that, like, so. Okay, that was oh. fun. Yeah, that, that did irreparable <laughs> damage to the gene pool there. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm having trouble going back. Okay, well, that's I, I can't right. get back to that one, Roy. That's fine. Okay, so this one is called why we wear eye and ear pro yeah it looks like some kind of a black powder yeah or an improvised thing not with homemade sure. something do you guys have any rifles with fuses <laughs> it is an old so it's like a, you know right. it's like a hand cannon huh <laughs> well so. if if anybody hasn't figured out what's going to go wrong here <laughs> oh Ow. deep man that really gave him a wow yeah almost like the the what do you call it the you know the breach thing came off yeah you know i'd be interested to see the next one minute of this video <laughs> oh yeah yeah not so Man. good so what do you Any think miss? that is is that like a homemade something or other it almost yeah, looks I like a so. pipe gun kind of thing yeah. you know oh i had him out of order here here's our friend this is the uh guy who's explaining the shotgun and then messes up and then right after that quickly is our friend in the mask so we will watch those two again okay here he's explaining oh oopsie Bill. oh <laughs> man. finger on the trigger perhaps you know and they go from i'm mr tough guy uh, <laughs> internet authority to holy cow man ruh -roh. what just happened yeah ruh -roh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. in his bedroom here's the gang banger and if you can't hear him he's he's saying how tough he is and there's Ooh. the mess up My well this is the one where he's yeah, my mom's gonna kill me. Yeah. <laughs> oh. This is man. We just say that present company accepted. This is another reason why whatever you see on the internet, just <laughs> you know, yeah, take it with a grain of salt. Well, I, I'm completely lost. The mask guy. So, okay, it's we'll move a, on. Right. This is something a potato gun. If you've ever seen one. Okay. Well, and, so far, uh, so good. This is a test fire. This guy's a, a test engineer. So I don't know that shoot. I would have held it up against my face. You know. <laughs> well, he'd probably agree with you because of this. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and I'm laughing because the video goes on and he's okay, which Whoa. he's lucky because, you know, PVC shrapnel is like razor blades. So yeah. I and showed you know that what? one just because I know he didn't die. If you, if you, cause I've made some potato guns and you're, you have to use a certain kind of PVC cause there mm -hmm. is a, and I'm not going to say what you need to use cause find out yourself <laughs> you on the internet, it. you know? <laughs> yeah. But suffice to say that you can blow yourself up though. There was a time in my life where we may or may not have been participants in blowing up some potato guns. So. <laughs> exactly. Did you, ever, did you ever have one of those? Like one of what? what, what that guy just did? No, well, we used to duct tape the receiver area. And okay. So we we had some kind of let go, but the duct tape kind of held it all together. Contained the shrapnel. Mm -hmm, it contained the shrapnel. We had one go a measured six hundred yards, but that's another story. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, it was amazing. We oh, knew we were in trouble when because usually they kind of go, bonk, you know, when they shoot. This one kind of went, crack. <laughs> <laughs> so, so. 
Who knew potatoes could go supersonic, right? Uh, yeah, exactly. we thought every, it's like everyone looks at each other and then runs, you know? So when you need lab radar to check the velocity of your potato, you might <laughs> oh, be overloading yes. it. Man, wow. oh man, that was a lot of fun okay. though. Huh? Well, here, here is uh, this is a tactical team getting all tactical with it. And we'll put this under the heading of, you know, oh. make sure you're locked in. Oh, this. Oh, oh, ow, ow, yo, ow, yo, ow. Ow. I meant to do that. It's, it's got to be some Central American. Yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised everyone isn't in position. So, <laughs> you know. Well, I like the guy on the uh, the shield. Like, <laughs> what just happened? Hey, man, what you doing? You know? <laughs> should, should I be looking forward or back for the danger? Can you so. imagine having a pistol grip shotgun working in close quarters like that? Yeah. Oh. It basically, it was right in his ear, too. I mean, it was past the oh. shield, but just barely. And I'm not seeing any ear protection. There probably no. wasn't any. No. These are the kind of people that they put their partner downrange and then they shoot at the target next to him yeah. to build team, you know, team, team building. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. To desensitize, right? To incoming fire or something. <laughs> yeah, there's that yeah. too. Yeah. There have been a few training classes like that that have appeared on the internet. A few schools that do that kind of crazy stuff, you know? Yeah. Talk about exactly. mortifying. Yeah. Exactly. I saw one. Let's I saw one where they you line up the other part of the class and then the shooter works in and out, like you know, like when a dog runs through the poles in a you know in a row right. where they zig left right left right left and they're running in and out and in and out of all the shooters but on every cycle he, he takes a shot on on the right side takes a shot on the left side takes a shot oh right. it's like lord this was in the united states where we technically should know better you know <laughs> and we wow. have lawyers and courts and we have wow. lawyers and courts of course That's we have these videos too yeah know? well this is uh, the tail end of the previous so this one's going to be kind of a surprise i don't remember which one we're going to see Oh, that one. Oh, oh, this is, this was, this is a legend. You know, yes. I know yes. the backstory on that. Do you want All to right, know let's hear it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. There's a guy in like Saudi Arabia who has more money than sense. And he's got this unbelievable underground range testing facility. Uh, and he gets all his robed up cronies like this. And what they all do, they have so much money. They all go to Africa and they shoot animals in Africa and they all use these big rifles. And there's a lot of actually videos of them doing what they do, but like there's, that? yeah, but there's a bit of this too. <laughs> yeah. And so that's why they're shooting these big guns dressed in the, you know, how they're dressed. Yeah. But yeah. And this what? was a, uh, uh, 700, Oh man, Tyrannosaurus, I think they called it. <laughs> yeah, and he would say, "I am being shooting this. It's okay." Wow. I love this guy because listen, he he actually laughs. The joke's on him. Oh man, that would have broken your what's that <laughs> bone underneath <laughs> that your left a mark? <laughs> yeah. Oh no, exactly. I am fine now. Yeah. yeah. Now I'm not going to show oh. this one because this might be one of the ones where somebody's being tactical and manages to shoot themselves in the leg. And then like oh, you said, immediately that's goes hard from to tough believe. guy to screaming person. So oh. I, I love this one. I don't know if it's a setup. Um, it doesn't really look like it, but I call this man the statue. Ready? <laughs> 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 oh, let's see that I, again what is the what is the another reason that you're happy that maybe it was only one shot or that's not maybe. a semi-auto because look at that say, when it hit the ground it was pointing at his yeah, ankles and legs exactly we're laughing but that could have gone bad in a lot of different oh, ways man and especially shotguns tend to you know if you drop them they can tend to go off sometimes you know yeah. that's it's, well it was it, cool though you know <laughs> Yeah. who won collected i don't yeah. know now this one it's very quick it's right after this this video here and this is another one where they had this diminutive lady put this shotgun you know a couple inches from her shoulder and oh huh, it hurt her right that's pretty funny yeah. but the next video happens quick and i i've watched it multiple times now i'm not sure what happens so we may have to watch it a couple of times but uh it's one of those i'm explaining everything and then here we oh, go yeah i know that kind Blah, 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 so blah. here you do this. Oh, oopsie. What the heck? I know. Let's see that again on instant replay. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, something on the other side of the table went off. Exactly. And it, it, it's a pretty.
pretty good sized gun. So I'm guessing a shotgun that maybe had laying there or something. I, you know what I'm seeing? I'm seeing disassembled shotgun shells. Maybe right. I'm seeing like maybe some powder there. Yeah. So maybe he had a trash can full of gunpowder that that he he flashed off for some. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, he, it all, yeah. There's he's putting holes and stuff. So maybe that was an uncontained uh, detonation. I don't know, because it would, you know, whoosh, it would do that. <laughs> Play it again. I want to see it again. Okay. And if anybody has any idea what's happening, or if you know this guy, or if you oh, are this I, guy. I see it. I see it. What? What? Okay. See this shell right here? If you can see my cursor, All it's right. rolling off the table. And it rolled off the table. It's gone. And bang. Wait. <laughs> oh. The wow. shell. Watch it. It's quick. The shell rolls right off the table. Right. And goes off. That's that's a one in a million shot. That is a one in that's a million. A one, Primers aren't that soft. Yeah. Don't you wow. guys agree? That's got to be it. Just fell fell primer off. down on something on the floor. Yep. Yep. Wow. That, that's a one we had in that happen shot. Yeah, really? on the police department. Yeah, it was a, a guy was unloading his uh, duty. Eight, I think we talked about one time a duty shotgun, and when it actually happened twice. Once the primer which had uh, vibrated out of the base of the, of the case over time, you know, being loaded, unloaded, loaded, unloaded. It hit a part of the ejection port and it actually did just that. And then wow. the other guy dropped one on the ground and it hit right on the primer on a rock at his feet. Of course, he was trying to explain that. No, really, I didn't <laughs> shoot it. It was an accident. I swear. It yeah. was an accident. That's astounding that he had. That, yeah, that's that's a lot of bad luck going on there. I'm, yeah. you know, I don't know what else was going on, but that is a lot of bad luck. Wow. So. And this one, finally, I've got to say, this is my favorite. And this is why I'm ending our video collection on this one, because we've got a gentleman he's uh, practiced and ready and tactical and very cool. And then this. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an episode of the gun cranks. <laughs> it absolutely is. <laughs> Ruh -ruh. <laughs> but did you know so he stayed the course exactly he kept shooting pretty, pretty cool I and I keep shooting engaging. yeah oh because well, he he Wait. had to because he couldn't run away he had to stay you in know? the fight <laughs> yeah he had to stay in the fight you know oh so the the safety lesson there wear a freaking belt <laughs> <clears throat> that's wow. just uh, wow you know oh. i'm i confess i'm glad you didn't show the people you know, especially the women, like you say, where they hand them stupid big guns yeah. and let them hurt themselves, you know? And there's a lot of that out That's there. That's I, that, <laughs> that actually makes me angry. I mean, I, I get fired yeah. up seeing that because, you know, all that does is ruin people. Even if they become a shooter, you you built in a flinch that they'll pay heck trying to get over, you know? So now it is kind of funny. There's a lot of scope bite videos, which are funny or not. If you've shot a scope rifle very long, you've probably done that so i didn't include any of those and then and then there's just people being stupid stupid dangerously stupid uh shooting themselves shooting other people there was one i almost included a, a guy <laughs> he did this with his girlfriend it was an ak he had her do the same thing you know God, put it away from your shoulder it hits her she drops it she's got it on a sling and then she starts turning around and he's screaming obscenities and funny thing you can tell she's an on shooter she goes calm down it's not loaded anymore and she's pointing it right at him and the camera's running away so you know i didn't even want to show that one but it's pretty funny on the guy because it, it turned around and almost bit him bad so sometimes karma as they say is a unkind mistress <laughs> you know one of the i think the big takeaways here is that for some reason i think maybe even mostly american shooters I, I can't really speak for other countries but we think well we have the old west so we're all firearms experts and you know so just because you go to walmart and buy a pump shotgun and a box of four dollar ammunition that you, you still need to get some training all you need to do is watch our videos you know well, the old saying, all, all American males think they can drive a stick shift, paddle a canoe, shoot a gun, and hold their liquor. And it's the rare man that can do any one of those good and an exceptional man that can do all four of them very good. <laughs> it's true. And, you know, I think when we, we bandy about the term get training, but I think it's something as simple as find somebody you know who actually really does know what they're doing, you know, and, and then let him make you safe with your gun. 
I know at the end of our first look videos, I always say, hey, and take a new shooter shooting, you remember the four firearm safety rules and to help introduce them into the into our fraternity. Mm -hmm. And so I think it doesn't mean you have to go to gun site, but it certainly means you have to not be so stupid like these idiots in the videos. Yeah. <laughs> well, and kind of expanding on your very first takeaway, Roy, back in the beginning of this was, kids, if you put it on the internet, it's there forever. <laughs> And it may be funny today, but it might not be in 10 years, especially if you're running for public office. So, <laughs> or I don't know, trying to get a job. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. It requires judgment. And... Well, can you imagine one of those people applying to work in the industry and they do a background check and look at their social media, which every place does now. Mm -hmm. um, thank you for your interest. We'll get back with you at some point. So. I guess it must be, you can tell who your friends are too. If your friends post this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, Bill, what were you thinking, man? You know, <laughs> well, the the gross effects of testosterone, and we've all been under under its narcotic effect at times, and stuff that we thought was funny when we're twenty two is no longer funny at our age. So, you know, the, this actually reminds me of uh, of there's a saying in carpentry, and I, everybody in the world knows it. It's called marry or measure twice, cut once. once. Well, the reason for that is so that you make sure you have everything sorted out before you commit to, you know, to whatever it is you're going to do. And, and I think all of these people that they kind of stopped and measured twice <laughs> before they pulled the trigger, you know, so yeah. hopefully somebody there would have said, Hey, Brett, you better not uh, do that. Cause you could get blowed up. Yeah. You know? <laughs> well, I, I remember something you told me Roy a while back, things had kind of gotten sideways on a project or whatever. And you said, was this a case of ready, fire, aim? <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe. <laughs> it, all of these were a case of ready fire aim yeah yep. i mean shall we address the ones we didn't see though those those ones of here i am showing you how to do a four-step draw only they shoot themselves in the knee or the yeah. thigh or something like and that there's a I mean, lot of those there's and a the, lot of those the funny and thing I, is most of the guys are trying to be highly tactical it's not just i'm going to show you how to, it's okay here we go. I'm ready. I'm to your yeah. operator. Pow. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> yeah, too many. And I'm sorry. I laugh. You shouldn't serious laugh. Stuff but... happens. I mean, Tannerite yeah. videos are the, oh. the worst for that. Oh, yeah. I didn't even go there. There. Yeah. There's, I saw a guy who uh, tried to blow up a riding lawnmower and he, he actually amputated one. his own leg. Yep. Nearly killed you know, him. I saw no that. Parts one. flying around. Yeah. Yeah. Like there's... stop, pause, take a deep breath, you know, think about this. Yeah. Measure twice. Think about potential yeah. consequences. <laughs> and we were, we were going to do a Tannerite video, but I talked to somebody who used to work with Tannerite and I'll be vague there, but they, the reason I mentioned that is because they know what they're talking about. And I, I actually, this was uh, January one, I was going to post a video. I, I did some stuff with Tannerite and this person said, you understand you committed a felony by doing that. I'm like, what, what, what? Yeah, apparently Tannerite, if you just blow it up, is fine. It's it's legal to use. The moment you put it in something or put something with it and blow something up with it, apparently, according to them, and I believe them, that's against the law. So there's lots of videos out there blowing up beaver dams, and there's one they blew up a shed. Um, I'm not sure that that's legal. It certainly defies common sense and safety rules, but I think it's also illegal. So maybe putting that on the Internet, not the smartest thing. Hmm. So you go from Tannerite to bomb. And, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And bomb That's what it is. is illegal. Tannerite becomes a bomb. Yeah. So. Yeah. Don't. Because I, I can't do this to kid. a certain amount of interest. In, <laughs> oh, Tannerite. No. In okay, seeing, Mr. Potato have, Gun. <laughs> have you seen the guys? <laughs> yeah. But have you seen the guys who, uh, we do a lot of, of logging and tree cutting on my property here, but have you seen the guys that they bore out a hole and they put, you know, like a two pounds of tannerite in a tree and then they get back 150 yards and shoot it with a two, two, three and it, you know, yeah. it snaps the tree off or something like that. And I, I've, I confess, I've looked at that and thought, well, that's pretty interesting, you know, <laughs> but you would but, never do it. Right. But I would not now. I, I really didn't know that was illegal. And I think that's good advice. Is we probably it, ought to, we probably shouldn't even have said anything, but I'm absolutely convinced the person that told me that knows what they're talking about. So safety says, just don't do it. And certainly don't put it on the internet. Yeah. Well, you know, there was another YouTuber who 
was famous for blowing up cars and all that kind of stuff. And he was using Tannerite. And I remember, mm -hmm. I guess the BATF went in and shut him down <laughs> and pulled all his guns and did all, and it was because of that. Yeah. You know, he had loaded some car up with, you know, 20 pounds of Tannerite or something. And he had this huge mushroom cloud explosion. Of course, everyone screeches in delight and, you know, yeah. and rolls, rolls around on the floor. But I, they weren't laughing, evidently, you know. <laughs> Now, I'm going to throw this out to Tom McHale because Tom is sort of kind of the quiet one amongst us, but those are the guys that always do the really, really interesting stuff. So, Tom, in anything that you can talk about that will change the names, dates, and places to protect the guilty? I'll just say, um, theoretically speaking, <laughs> you know, um, it's really not a good idea to try and make explosives out of things that aren't meant to blow up you know don't don't do that <laughs> pretty vague tom and i understand why because <laughs> we're on the internet exactly. exactly well you know what we were since... all young once we were all young once come on disclaimer <laughs> there, i didn't even of... name the name of the product in question because i don't want anybody else to get ideas yeah <laughs> Tell us later, though. Okay. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, a million, a, a million years ago, when I, I knew this guy that used to make fireworks, fire fireworks, mm -hmm. uh, and I don't even know if that was legal. I don't know. Maybe it was. I really don't know. But remember, thirty-five millimeter uh, film can, the little yeah. plastic things. Yeah. So he used to make these little things with little fuse on them. And, and so he gave me two or three of them because we used to go to the desert all the time. He said, Oh yeah, these are a lot of fun. You know, just light them and run back. And they're like an M80. And I went, Oh, okay. And he said, if you really want to see something fun, put it in an ammo box. And I thought, okay, well, that sounds pretty interesting. Right. So I put it in an ammo box with the, the fuse sticking out and out of just, I thought, well, you know, we're going to be safe here. So I put about a, 15 or 20 pound flat rock on top of it because I thought well you know that'll keep it down you know so it doesn't fly off or something so we lit it and everyone ran away and hid and it went boom a lot bigger than we thought it was going to go boom and we looked around and there was the can but there was no rock and then there was a pregnant pause and the, <laughs> the thump <laughs> of the rock coming back down. <laughs> Holy moly. And, yeah, and there is, is really funny because it got really, really quiet for a few seconds. Yep. And he just went, okay, we're done doing that now, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just by the grace of God or your chosen deity. Wow. That was, we didn't even measure once, much less twice. Yeah. Good well, Lord. Let, let me tell my story. And I, I actually wrote about this in a column, uh, insider column, a couple months ago, uh, the July issue, I believe. <clears throat> I witnessed at a 4th of July barbecue, somebody wanted to put together the grand finale, and it involved a plastic flower pot and a pound of black powder and every assorted uh, firework and a brick of firecrackers and all this. And the cool thing is on the video, and I still have not found the video. It's on a VHS someplace and I'll find it one of these days. The person filming who might've been my spouse was going, you can hear, what is he doing? What are they doing? Get the kids back. Everybody get back. I don't know what he's doing. And then the screen goes orange and <laughs> it's like a nuclear explosion. And you can see there's a, uh, uh, street light right there and the mushroom cloud goes above the street light and then all those fireworks that had been set free started coming down going off people <laughs> are screaming the camera just running away it was fantastic i was gonna say it was a huge success huh? it was yeah. but the person that did it vowed off improvised fireworks forever at that point because Probably you use idea. up all your luck chits at that point and we're done nine lives just like that <laughs> gone exactly. you know the really th funny thing that struck me though is the fact that just between the three of us we've got i don't know th three dozen of these kind of stories or more <laughs> and that's just we three multiply yeah. that by 200 million more idiots in the country <laughs> why are more people not getting killed <laughs> tragically in these kind of accidents <laughs> We're laughing <laughs> i know i mean it's just because everybody yeah. has that i everybody mean if they, you it. you take a dozen well but you take a dozen men all of them will have stories like this yeah unless they're complete live at home mob geeks 
Right. But the reason we don't have any recent stories is because every one of us has gotten hurt or seen somebody get hurt doing it. And you're yeah. like, we were really need to stop doing this, you know? So <laughs> yeah, young yeah, folks yeah. out there. Yeah, don't, don't do it. <laughs> we've done right, it for yeah. you. <laughs> like that's going to work. Right. I know, <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't listen. You guys didn't listen, but no, at least we tried. So. You know what? Let's challenge people to send an email to what, whatever, what editor at gunsmagazine.com yeah. that with your story that oh. you don't want to say that it was you, but really That's it great. was you. Yeah. yeah. We want to know. And if there's pictures, you get extra points. Yeah. <laughs> so. But it, it's headed here, for trouble. Yeah. <laughs> here's a little humor tip though. When somebody is dismembered or dies in the end of the story, it's not that, that funny. Count. So let's, no. We'll, no. we'll do away with those. Yeah. No. You know, no, we want to see the here, hold my beer moments. Yeah. You know, you know, if your nickname's Stumpy or, you know, no. Fingerless Joe, that's fine. <laughs> but if you're okay now, you know, don't share that. So, oh, wow. <laughs> what's the biggest takeaway? Tom, what's the biggest takeaway from this for you after watching all this? Stop and think. Stop and think what could happen. I mean, seriously, mm -hmm. there's, yeah, yeah I mean, we, we, we had some talk about showing these things before the show and, and there's the reason we did was because there are learnings in this. We're we're joking around and having some fun, but but stuff can go wrong. I mean, we're we're at an all time low of gun related accidents and and um, you know tragedies like that all, all time low ever in the history of ever. And there are more guns than ever before. Um, so let's keep it that way. That's yeah. my closing thought. I agree with you, Brent. What do you think? You know, speaking from having witnessed things it's all fun and games until the arterial bleeding and then you're really really sorry and it's even worse if somebody else gets hurt because you were trying to be funny or especially if you're trying to do an internet video um it's just it's not worth it it is not worth seeing yourself bleeding or a friend bleeding or a friend being killed you know in all seriousness not to, not to bring us down but that's that can be the end result of probably almost every one of these videos we watch so mm -hmm. just think about it like Tom by the said by the hair of their chinny chin chin you know we have to remember uh well they're called deadly weapons for a reason you know and if you pull one on somebody that can be assault with a deadly weapon even if you don't shoot them and i think it also is a bit of that familiarity breeds contempt or you know a, a relaxation and i think especially cops we we've laughed and told stories about ad's that cops have had because you're around guns every single day, you carry a gun on duty, off duty, you're handling hundreds of guns, ammunition constantly, you're shooting all the time, and you get to be on autopilot. And mm -hmm. I think, you know, a lot of these people, they're also very much novices, but I think there's too many movie shootings and video games, and it doesn't seem real. I knew this guy that whenever he was introducing his kids to shooting, he would take them out and shoot watermelons with a shotgun. And it was like, oh, the kids, I was there when he did it a couple of times and the kids always have these big eyes, you know, and he didn't make, it wasn't his, there were no histronics, but he just went, you see what it can do. And it was like, yes, daddy, you know, and then everybody yep. was safe after that. So <laughs> exactly. Well, gents, this has been a wonderful and uh, fun and probably highly controversial <laughs> episode of gun cranks. I can't wait till the boss sees it, but Hey, we're going to keep going anyway. So make sure you share this with all of your friends on your social media, subscribe to us on YouTube and, you know, let share the wealth. We are still building a growing audience. So as I've said before, we would really like to have a Learjet. So let's keep this thing going and we rely on you, our audience. So you can get a hold of me, editor at gunsmagazine.com or Tom at editor at AmericanHandgunner.com. And of course, we would be happy to send anything along to Roy, which we I've done the last week, I think here recently. So on behalf of Roy Huntington and American Handgunner editor, Tom McHale, I'm Brent Wheat. Join us next week at 8 p.m. on YouTube for more of The Gun Cranks. See you guys. Good night. Send us your stories.